Well, good evening and welcome back Delmarva. Officials are vowing to protect valuable pieces of local art as they prepare to move the Ward Museum of Wildfowl Art due to HVAC issues at its current location. The museum is moving to a new space and is set to undergo a relocation of all of the artwork before reopening to the public later this year. Now, Eastern Shore Delegation Chair Chris Adams says he has had conversations with officials in an effort to make sure that all of the art is protected through this process. While a longer conversation surely is going to happen as it relates to the, the building and the facilities, uh, we wanted to make sure that uh, that the uh, university and the Ward Foundation uh, was able to preserve and protect, um, you know, those uh, those those pieces of art that define uh, who we are. Now, the Ward Museum galleries have been closed to the public since July of last year when there was a major failure in the building's HVAC system. Now, the prolonged failure of that system created unsafe environmental conditions, which actually led to the, the development of and spread of surface mold on carvings and other pieces of artwork. We're working to ensure um, the safety of the collection and we will, uh, you know, do anything that we can to support the Ward Museum and ensure that their critical mission continues to get delivered um, on the shore. Now, the Ward Foundation is still in negotiations on where the museum will be relocated to. Now, at this time, all that's been said is that it will be a new location somewhere in downtown Salisbury. All right, let's get to it here as we're getting set for the weekend. Uh, obviously, at this point to say it's cold now, but a cool start to the weekend because I expect tomorrow to have some improvement, but by uh, Sunday, already shooting back up into the 50s. A battle of clouds and sun to round out the second half of the weekend and milder temps again next week. We're going to push towards 70 again. Show you that coming up. Well, boy, it was a nasty one earlier today, especially as the cold front slowly worked its way across Delmarva and it just it came with the heavy rain and the increased wind. That's what it looked like in Salisbury earlier. Probably looked like that in every location here in Delmar or Delmarva at one point or another before the front finally moved out and we started to dry out. But it left for a very nice twilight as the rain was moving out. This comes from Terry Monahan out of Eden. A great picture there right around sunset. Sarah Ash caught a double one here. The rainbow plus that twilight look. Uh, in the other direction there. Really cool scene out of Salisbury. And uh, we were looking at rainfall totals. Not too bad today, just under an inch out of Oxford. Georgetown looking at some of those numbers. I think some of those are old, but uh, the idea with some of the numbers that we had anywhere between a quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain across the area. Nobody really got to an inch, but it was a decent enough soaker at that. 67 was the high today. That happened just before 4 a.m. And if you were out early today, it was still in the low to mid 60s, but that decline continued throughout the day on a day that we averaged 49. We're getting close to our averages now being near 50 degrees. An idea if you're a spring lover that we're getting closer and closer to that moment too. Today's high temperature across Delmarva mid to upper 60s winds at the moment are still gusty out of the north and west. I expect these numbers to come down substantially through the night. And if you're up early tomorrow morning, you'll notice that it will be much less windy, although it will be chillier than it is. Of course, at this point, we've already sank into the 30s here. You can see where the cold front is still in the 50s there in Wilmington, North Carolina. The front continues to push off to the south and in behind it, just a few leftover clouds. You see that we have dried out completely. Some snow showers coming in off of Lake Erie, just the sign of that cold air that's raising in from Canada. All right, high pressure controls our weather for Saturday here on Futurecast. Look at the time stamp there as it moves off the coast that invites in more clouds for Sunday. We're still rain free. President's Day, that's where we start to get into the unsettled pattern, which will bring us the chance of a shower here or there at any point next week. I think President's Day itself is going to be pretty much dry, although a few showers will be trying to sneak in there by evening. Back to tonight, clearing skies, still breezy, the windshield dipping down in the upper teens at times, but our Saturday should be pretty bright and not a bad day for Saturday for a February standard there with mid 40s and our Brazier's carpet care dog walking forecast 31 at 8 42 at 12 and we'll go 45 at 2 o'clock marine forecast still a little choppy in the waters but uh, no small craft advisories up the idea is that it gets better throughout the day if you do have some boating interest tomorrow okay so the seven day forecast mid 50s on Sunday low 60s President's Day talked about that unsettled nature of our forecast next week it's not going to be a bright sky each day but there'll be times of sun and clouds and a couple showers here and there Tuesday and especially into Thursday. That's the winner right there with highs in the low 70s. We've got more DSI coming up on the other side of the break. Hang out. We'll be right back.